Let's listen to our vocals with and without the preset. This is how they sound, try. Am I, oh my, my. Now the full result with the piano, this is what we got. Am I, oh my, my. No. How crazy is that? Hey, I'm Mayo, I'm a music producer, and today I'm gonna walk you through BandLab's mobile app and show you how you can use its presets to get a more professional sound. We're not just gonna browse all the different presets available, but also learn how to tweak them, customize them, apply them to different elements, or even build them from scratch. Let's check it out. I open the BandLab mobile app and I'm at the preset section, and we can see that there's a variety of different presets that we can use. For example, we have our recommended ones, we have the trending section, presets for vocals, enhanced, tones, ambient, modulated, pushed, and so on. Okay, this sort of gets intuitive, for example, obviously our vocal presets will be used for vocals. If you go to the enhanced ones, you'll have different names that will help you know what the presets are for. For example, we have our ambient wind that should probably be used for ambience, then the bass boost that you could use for basses and so on. In order to use these presets, we're first gonna have to start a new project. So after you have BandLab open, we're gonna go to this open studio option here. Then it will let us select the type of input we want you would choose voice and audio if you wanted to record vocals and then you have the guitar and bass options if you want to record those but I'm gonna go with the virtual instruments one right here and I'm gonna select the grand piano here because I want to make a simple piano melody so we tap that and there we have our grand piano we can press it to see if it's working fine then I'm gonna hit this button right here at the right bottom corner which is the piano row that will let us write our piano melodies so let me quickly do one so I quickly made my piano melody and it sounds like this And now we're gonna go back, close the piano roll, and we're gonna hit this FX button here that says none at the moment. So if we hit it, we're gonna have access to all the presets that we can apply to this piano melody. Since it's a piano, I'm gonna try and find something that's adequate for it. So let's try this large hall one and see how it sounds. This one actually sounds pretty nice. Now, if you weren't quite happy with the results, we can always edit this preset. For that, we're gonna hit this button here, right next to the start button where it says large hall. I'm gonna click it, and we're gonna have access to all the plugins included in the preset. This way, we can edit them and get the result we want. So if you browse to the large hall preset, we can see that there is the space maker, which is a reverb. Then right side to hit, we have the studio reverb, so two reverbs included. And lastly, an EQ3M, which is an equalizer to cut off or add some frequencies. So let's play our piano again. I feel like we could add a bit more reverb to this, so let's go for, to our first reverb one and let's bring in the mix. Maybe too much, so like 70, 60 maybe. Sounds good. Now, I feel like it's a bit too bright, so let's get a bit of the high frequencies using our EQ. Let's go to the EQ, where it says high, it's at 4.3 dB, let's play it and mess around with it. So if you go to minus 30, let's see how it sounds. Then all the way up, and it boosts it. So I'm gonna put it to zero. Let's see how bright it sounds right now. Okay, it doesn't sound bad. I'm gonna cut it off a bit. Maybe 10, 11. Okay, let's see the low frequencies. Around minus 10 is also good, and now let's check the mid. Right, so I cut it off a bit of the high frequencies, boosted a bit of the mids, and also lowered the low end a little bit, and it sounds nicer than it was. Let's say we're still not happy with this preset and we want to tweak it a bit more. For example, why don't we try some delay on it? So to customize a given preset, in this case the large hall, we're gonna hit this plus button on the top right side, and we're gonna select the plugin we want. In this case, I'm gonna search for a delay here, and you can see we have a ton of plugins that BandLab offers, like a BL driver for distortion, we have delay, more equalizers, phases, chorus, reverbs, compressors, and so on. 
These are the recommended ones. And then at the top, we have them divided by sections. We have amps and caps. More specifically for guitars, we have pedals that have different effects like distortion, chorus, reverb, and so on. You can use this on guitars or whatever you want. Then we have the delay section, distortion, dynamics, modulation, pitch shifting, and so on. So since we want some delay on this, let's go to the delay section. So let's go with the ping pong delay. I assume that will be nice on this piano melody. Let's play it at the default. This is how it sounds. Okay, it's so strong in the mix that it actually looks like we alter our piano notes. So I'm gonna reduce it a bit to like 20%. Let's see how it sounds. And let's also reduce the feedback to 20%. And it gives us that nice ping pong delay that goes from one side to the other. And I think we're done with our piano melody. Now that we finalized our piano melody, let's add a vocal on top of it. So I'm gonna go back to our playlist. Let's hit this plus button on the left below our FX piano. And now we're gonna have to select voice slash audio to record some vocals. Click it and let's do it. To record your vocals, just simply press this red circle here and let's go. Am I on my mind? Now, as you can see, the vocals sound a bit too dry, so let's make our own vocal preset. And the good thing about BandLab is it lets you make your presets from scratch and customize them the way you want. So let's hit our FX option here on the vocal, and instead of choosing a vocal preset out of the many that BandLab offers, let's create our own. So right here on the left of the smooth piano, we can hit this plus button and all the effects will appear. So simply we're gonna start with some EQ to cut off some low end of our vocal. I'm gonna select the EQ 3M. Let's play it. I, Let's bring off the low. My Just a little bit. Oh, and raise a bit of the high frequency. So if we turn it off, let's see the before and after. So this is without. I, my and then with. I, my it already sounds much more present. So let's keep going. I'm going to add some compression. Let's hit the plus button and then find our compressor here. I'm going to go all the way down to dynamics and let's use the first option, the BL1176 compressor. Let's play it from the start. I'm gonna change the ratio for four to one and gonna drive the input down all the way down and the attack and the release to small values. Let's play it. My, Let's bring up the input. Oh my, my. Right, let's keep going and add a de to remove some of the S sounds of my voice. Let's hit the plus button. We can find a de on the Dynamics tab. Let's hit it. Play the vocal. And, my, oh my, my. and bring down the threshold. And my, okay, that's too much. Oh my, my. No. I'm going to go to around 10,000 10, hertz to find that S sounds. And let's play it from the start. And my, my. Right, not many S's on this vocal, so it's not really that noticeable. To finish it up, let's add some distortion, reverb, and delay. Let's find our distortion here at the distortion tab. I'm gonna go with the bit crusher. It sounds nice to me. Brought the intensity down a bit, and let's see what it does. And my, Take it off. Oh my, my. No. And the distortion makes it sound even more present, the same that we did with the EQ. Now hit the plus button again. Let's go for the reverb here at the reverb tab. I'm gonna go with studio reverb. Let's bring the mix all the way down and slowly bring it up while we play the vocals. And my, oh my, my, no. So I'd say that around 30%, it sounds nice. Last but not least, our delay. Let's hit the plus button once again, go to the delay tab and let's choose ping pong delay. Bring the mix all the way down, and let's see. And my, oh my, my. I'm gonna mess with the milliseconds here. And my, oh my, my. And my, oh my, my. 
I think we got a nice result. So let's save our preset at the top right corner. Hit save as. Let's call it nice vocals. I'm going to choose the yellow thumbnail here, hit the check mark, and there we go. So if we go back, we can turn off the effects for our vocal. So let's listen to our vocals with and without the preset. This is how they sound dry. Now the full result with the piano, this is what we got. How crazy is that? Now, when you're happy with your preset, you can go back to it and you can see that the large hall preset in this case says edited, which means it has all the alterations you did. If you want to save this preset so you can use it later, you can always hit this three dot button here and hit save as. Now, BenLab will let us save our large hall edited preset. So let's call it smooth piano, for example. The description is adds depth and space to your sounds, which looks nice to me. And then you can also customize its thumbnail. So let's go with the blue one, for example. Hit the check mark at the top and boom, our smooth piano preset has been saved. Not only can you save your presets, but you can also favorite them in case you have too many presets on your My Presets folder. BenLab will let you favorite them by hitting this star right here and it will create a favorite preset folder on the left of the My Presets folder. And if we hit it, we'll have all our favorite presets here, which will make browsing through presets much faster. If by any chance you love this preset so much that you want everyone to know, you can also share it with your friends or on social media by once again hitting this three dot button right here and click share. Then you can see that BandLab will not only let you copy the link, but also share it through email, the BandLab chat, or even social media on your favorite platforms. You can also share the preset with other BandLab users by hitting the write a post option here, and BandLab will let you make your own post by giving it a title and describing what your preset is. You can even add images to it and then post it to your feed. So this is how powerful these presets can be to help you make your music sound more professional, but also give it that unique feel. Once again, Maya here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. But most important of all, have fun with your music. I'll see you around.